Hello, and welcome back to the PBIS Rewards Discovery Series. Let's quickly review check-in, check-out, and tiered interventions. From our home screen, we are going to look for check-in, check-out teacher located right here. From this screen, we can search for our students by their name by selecting this, or we can select them from our student groups located in this dropdown. Here we see that Blake Atkins has a check-in, check-out in progress. I will click on the student, and from here, I will first select the period that I work with Blake. Let's pretend this is first period. I will select the one. We are going to rate how well he is accomplishing the goals in his check-in, check-out plan from one to three, with three being the highest score possible and one being the lowest possible score. As a reminder, these point structures can be customized by administrators to range from zero to two or one to three. As you can see in this school, our point structure ranges from one to three. Let's look at his goals and give him a rating for each of these goals. His first goal says raising his hand to speak, no yelling out. During class this morning, Blake did a little better than normal, but he still yelled out a couple of times to get the teacher's attention. Since he is improving from normal, but still struggling with this concept a bit, we will give Blake two points for this goal by selecting the two right here. For his second goal, silent during independent work time, Blake yelled out to get the teacher's attention and chatted with his neighbor. Since Blake chose to talk during independent work time and since he yelled out while others were working, he could have potentially disturbed a fellow classmate during this time. As a result, Blake will only receive one point for this goal by selecting the one right here. We now need to rate Blake on his final goal, stay seated. While Blake may have had some issues with talking and yelling out in class, he stayed seated during the entire class period. Since he did such a great job with this goal, we are going to give Blake three points by selecting the three right here. We also want to be sure to acknowledge him by saying something like, Blake, you really worked hard on staying in your seat today. I can't wait to see how you master these other goals that you and your check-in, check-out coach have created. Way to go, buddy. Or you can leave that as a comment for Blake to see right here. Remember, comments made here are visible to the student, check-in, check-out coach, teacher, and parents, but these are optional. After we have completed rating his goals and adding our comment, if we so choose, we will then press the submit button to confirm his rating for first period by selecting right here. Once that has been completed, we will see a notification pop up at the top of the screen to let us know that Blake's check-in, check-out has been updated. Coming back to our home screen, we can always check student interventions or even add tier two or tier three interventions from the student dashboard. We will first find the word students on the left-hand side of the screen. Here it is. Now let's select that option. This will bring you to the student dashboard. Here, we can access any information for any of our students put into the system by clicking on the eye located on the right-hand side, as you can see right here. Once we select this option, any information we have on Blake will be visible in these dropdowns. These dropdowns are located here. For today, we are going to check his interventions by selecting this dropdown that says interventions. Here you can see his check-in, check-out ratings and determine how he is doing with his goals. We can also see his cell check-ins completed by him or his teachers, as well as his cell check history right here. Just below that, we can add custom interventions for tier two or tier three by selecting add intervention. Here we can customize his interventions and ensure that information is visible to other teachers who may work with Blake. 
we first would input our date, then select what tier this intervention would be, tier two or tier three, and then add a short description. You also have an option to attach a file. And once you do, you would simply press submit. Thank you for joining us today to review check-in, check-out, and tiered interventions. Please come back next time to learn more about ARS from our discovery series.